Hi everyone! What you just watched was my outro from the video I posted yesterday using iMovie. iMovie is an editing software that comes on Apple products like your iPhone, Mac, computer, iPad. Yesterday after I posted my video, I had people ask me about my editing. And by people, I mean one person. But I thought this would be a fun video to make. So what is an outro? An outro is the concluding section of a video. Okay, so here I have my iMovie open. This is the project from yesterday. You can see my timeline down here. The preview over here. I'm just going to scroll all the way down. What I'm going to show you today is how to make this outro. Right here. If you scrub over this section, you can see the preview of it above. I'm going to go ahead and go up here and open up a new project. Create new movie. Okay, so here we are in the new project. What I used to make the outro was titles. What titles are is you can drag and drop them on top of a clip like this one to add text to the clip. There's a lot of themes under titles so you can be creative and mix and match them any way you like. Okay so I'm just going to duplicate what I made yesterday. I was pretty happy with that. Let's say I used this vertical drift. Go ahead and drag that on to your timeline and then double click on this and start typing in what you want. Okay, and then you could scrub over it and okay, I like this. You can also shorten the clip by just dragging it, um, click on it, drag it down. Let's do two seconds. Okay. Right here under setting, if you want to zoom out of your timeline, you can adjust it here. Okay, so if you adjust that down, your timeline will be more condensed so you can see more of what's going on. Next, I chose Lens Flare. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and shorten this as well. So if you scrub over this, I timed it just so as the think and you is separating the next title comes through then i added a transition fade to black is my favorite that there okay going back to titles i'm just going to go ahead and lay down the rest of the timeline and then i can go back and adjust how long i want them to run for next i added Please like, and I used drifting. Okay, and again, I clicked on here. Some of these will allow you to change the color and the text too, so I wanted to keep the text all the same. I went to this one here Helvetica, new cadence black. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so if you want to preview it, you can just press the back arrow and play. Next, I added gravity. Double click on here. I changed the font again to keep it consistent. And then I added overlap. I changed the color on this to white. When you click on the color, this chart is going to pop up and I just clicked where I thought there might be white and I just scroll that over X out of there. And 
And then I added another transition at the end, the fade to black, because I want it to fade out. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back to the beginning. Okay, and starting from the beginning, let's watch this whole outro. Okay, so I noticed that for watching ran into please like. So we're going to expand this a little bit more. And I'm going to see that did it. Okay, now it's starting too early in this first clip, so we're just going to move it back. Okay, so now all I'm doing is I'm messing with the time so that everything fits smoothly. Um, you can always change the time on the transition too. So your outro should be quick. Okay, these last two are a little too long. I'm going to shorten them. Okay, so... Once you're happy with the layout of the outro, you can add music and sound effects. I'm going to open the folder that I've saved some music and sound effects for this video. I got my sound effects and music from YouTube Audio Library. I'll make a video about YouTube Audio Library and how I use their free music and sound effects. So here, let's move this out of the way. Please like, I'm going to use the golf sound effect. Let's see how this looks together. If you find a spot in the clip that you want to match up music or sound effect for, just press M and this purple marker will mark the area you want. So then you can just take this music and it just kind of snaps to that. Let's see here. Okay, so that looks good. Next slide, I'm going to add the ping pong sound effect. I'm going to scrub over this slide to see. Where I want to match it up to. So right when the S drops and then right here you'll see where the text begin to drop. I'm just gonna mark that section as well. Okay so I'm gonna match that clip up there and then just to duplicate that um, command C to copy and then command V to paste. Okay, and let's see how this looks together. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to move on to the next slide and I'll add the swoosh. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Okay, and then next you can add music as well. I have already trimmed this clip here. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how everything came together. Once you've completed this outro, you can reuse this in all your videos. All you have to do is upload it up here and save it as a file. And then just insert that to your other videos. Or you can come to the timeline here and highlight everything. Go up to edit, copy. Let's just say you have a, another video you want to do, so you open up the video and you click on the timeline, go back up to edit, paste, and there it is. And that's how you can make an outro for your videos. You can take this technique and also make intros and transitions within your video and just have fun with it. Please let me know if this video was helpful. Here's the video that inspired the making of this one. After watching it, let me know if I should quit my day job to start producing music videos. Thank you. Bye.